And then next what we'll do is we will do a little bit of quilting across some of these seams just to hold the two layers in place so when you wash it, it won't get all wrinkly and bunched up. This is especially important if you decided to do the batting in the middle of the layers. It's also a great time to do some decorative stitches. I think I'll put it on a zigzag and just do a little waves down each line. And in order to do that, I needed to change my presser foot. So just keep an eye on that. If the opening in your presser foot is too narrow, you will break a needle if the needle swings left and right. So we just go straight across. Remember to do a little back stitch just to tack it. If your machine has a fixed stitch, that's a perfect time to use it. You can also do as much as you would like in this. I simply did across the rows. You can go down the columns as well. Get to the end, just do a little back stitch just to make sure. Clip your threads and there you go. I'll do the last two, the bottom and the top. I I haven't done, I'll do those really quick. This is another one of those projects that can be really quick if you need a baby gift at the last minute. You don't even need to do the patchwork across the front. Cut out another piece of fabric, just pull. You could have this project done in 15 minutes. Okay, maybe 20, but pretty quick. Cutting that one, one more, flip it around and it will be finished. We're at the end, just go back a little bit, clip it. Grab your scissors, don't forget to trim the extra threads. And there you go.